back in the year 2000, I was doing a, a junior college television production course. And in that course, we decided that we were going to do a feature film. So over two semesters, we came up with this. It wasn't scripted beforehand. It, it, uh, it's about bugs in the future. And it's as good as that idea sounds. So go ahead, find another video. You don't want to watch this. <laughs>
Yes, we do. All right. Blurb, why don't you bag him? Samuel, why don't you book him and O'Malley? Push some pencils. I'm going to go get a donut. Lab. Well, in that place it says biology on it. All right, Murr. This is it. Be ready for anything. Freeze, bug killer! Freeze. Can I help you? You murderer, you! How could you? Who are you, and what are you doing here? O'Malley, homicide. I didn't see it. I still didn't see it. Okay, okay, I'll talk. What do you want to know? Where were you at noon? I was here teaching a class. What class? It was a biology class. What can you do with a biology degree? Well, you can teach. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you okay? Is he okay? I'm the one being hit. You must have a secret passageway around here somewhere. All bug killers have secret passageways. Ah, that's what you think. Not the secret passageway behind this wall. Ugh. Tape dispenser to get a super passageway. Okay, maybe not. But don't think about leaving town. We'll be back. your new partner there. This is uh, Rudder. He's a ranger from Texas. He's been on this case for the last couple of months. And he came to help us out. It's good to have you aboard. Well, come take a look at this. It makes me sick to see something like this. Pull right through her heart. This is not your uh, run-of-the-mill bug collector here. This is a real hate crime. Hate crime? Yeah, the, uh, they pinned him off center. There's no label. Um, and there's no indication that a real bug collector would do this mess. So what makes you so sure this is a hate crime and not some professional trying to throw us off the train? Well, it's just, no professional would do this. It's too imperfect. No professional would be this messy. It's definitely a very messy and very unscientific hate crime. I hope you catch the cover. Thanks a lot, Dr. Frick. Come on, Runner, let's go back to the scene of the crime. Maybe there's something we missed. Hey, there's a guy with a fly swatter. What does that look like to you? Mighty suspicious. All right, on the count of three. Hey, you! I thought he said on the count of three. Water. Freeze! Hello? Who is it? I don't know. There's no one there. I think he's trying to escape. I think you're right. Let's go!
Search him, see what he's got. Yeah. See what you got on you, huh? This. Oh. What have we got here? Going away from it. Uh, we'll find out what you've been doing with this. Uh, and this. Uh. All right. Okay. I'll tell you everything. Isn't that just nice? Remember this day, Mr. Sanchez, on <clears throat> August 25th, 1989. You helped an old lady get up after she fell down in the movie theater. But what about this day? December. Christmas. Your family couldn't afford so you sold a liver. You found an old man's wallet at an amusement park. And then you found him and gave it back to him. It just sounds too perfect. A perfect alibi for a bug killer. say you could have a cigarette? Yes, you did. Did I say you could have a cigarette? Yes. I don't know how it is in Texas, but you're supposed to say no. I'm trying to intimidate him. The runner seems to think that uh, <clears throat> I'm wasting my time with you. But, uh, we're willing to work at a deal. We're uh, <clears throat> offering to Wipe the slate clean. Give you a fresh start. Did you tell us where you got the fly swatter? It's not a fly swatter. It's my back scratcher. I've had it for years. What do you take us for, fools? No, no. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Bug killer, you killed the bug. I didn't do it. You did it. You killed the bug. I don't think you did it. I was hanging in the We don't. I didn't! I swear I didn't! Who did it then? I thought you'd never ask. I saw the guy who did it. It was... <laughs> well, that's a very interesting story, Mr. Sanchez. We'll have to go check that out. I've told you everything I know. Can I go now? Well, runner, seems like bail's been posted for Mr. Sanchez here, so... He's free to go, for the moment. Who are you? I'm O'Malley, your detective. I'll go put some pencils. So why don't you two detectives escort Mr. Sanchez out of here? Uh. Well, Mr. Sanchez, here's your personal items. Your wallet, cigarettes, lighter, hat, and 50 cents. Where's my dollar? I had to buy a donut. What about my back scratcher? Sorry, we're gonna have to hold on to that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful what you do out there. You might have someone watching. You think we should put someone on him? Yeah, we might want to put a tail on him.
let's go check out uh, Mr. Sanchez's story. You have two watches. One's digital, one's analog. The digital watch has an indiglow light. Which watch can you read better during the middle of the day? I don't know. I come from Australia. This punk doesn't know anything, can't even speak English. I could really do with a donut. Drop it, punk. This is for police. I love police work. What, don't I get to eat? Where you're going, punk, you'll never eat again. A frog and a toad cross a road. When they get to the other side of the road, which one's greener? I don't know the answers to your stupid American questions, damn country. I'm hey, Alan. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm here for the donuts. Donuts. Very good donuts. donuts. Now, who are you? Who gave you authority to question my witness? Your chief did. Gary and C, FBI. Yeah, well, I don't trust jackass feds. Well, I'm done here. I'm gonna go get some coffee. Get some more donuts while you're at it. I don't know about that guy. Feds, just keep an eye on him. So. <clears throat> Heard from another witness that uh, he witnessed you do the murder. Is that true? I don't know what you're talking about. You can't speak English. She's from Australia. We'll throw that crocodile hunter back in the hole till we can get an interpreter. Okay, I'm taking this crocodile hunter pump face back to the cell. Come on, pump, let's go. Hello? Yeah, I just walked in. They kept the fly swatter. Across the street? By the coffee shop? Okay, all right. Hello, Mally. Hi, Your Honor. How Hello, you doing? Dr. Frick. Any news on the uh, potential weapon? After several days of extensive research and careful consideration, I have concluded, in fact, that this is not a back scratcher. It is a deadly weapon. I traced this plastic to a factory in Taiwan 
that it also makes dancing hula girls for dashboards and fuzzy dice for rear view mirrors. This plastic part is shipped to various locations throughout the free world from a factory overseas where it receives various treatments on the plastic, but it's finally drop shipped to a factory in Metropolis, Illinois, where it is made it up with this metal handle. That's some good information, Dr. Frick. Yeah, where'd you find out where it was made? Ah, it says right here, Metropolis, Illinois. Thanks a lot, Dr. Frick. Part of the job. No. Hey, I've been looking all over for that. Hey, don't touch that. Uh, oh, that's a deadly weapon. Thank oh. God the safety was on. I need to get me one of those. What took you so long? What do you, what do you want to talk about? Oh, what are you doing? Thought we were cool. Oh. Sammy, yeah. Murder downtown. You won't believe we did it. Copy shop. I need backup now. Hey, what's going on here, Sammy? Heard you call for backup. I was down at Winchell's. It took you long enough, Chief. Uh, we already took the dead body away. So, did you got any suspects? Chief. How'd you guys get here so fast? You're our main suspect. You're the perf. You're gonna have to go downtown. What? Me. No, you're Too wrong. Right, Chief, he did it. Better believe it. I couldn't get there in time. I saw the whole thing. I knew we couldn't trust that fit. Ivy League punks. I think they can get away with anything. This is where you guys are. Why don't the governor of Texas call for you? He's he's on hold back at the station. I meant to tell you earlier, but I had to stop by the donut shop. Chief. Where's your donut? I brought my own. So, well, why don't you guys get back to work and go push some pencils or interrogate somebody? Okay, Chief.
never could trust Vince. I didn't do anything. I know my rights. Murderers have no rights. My theory is that you've been the bug killer using Mr. Sanchez as your partner, but when he got arrested, you panicked and decided to kill him before he talked, you murderer you. You showed up in the case to interrogate your Australian counterpart before he revealed the fact that he sells you illegal equipment from his overseas connections so that you could kill more bugs. The equipment that your crocodile hunter sold was part of an elaborate plan to sell fly swatters to college students using your pusher, Mr. Sanchez. First, this shows why you're a low-paid detective in Normsville and I'm an agent in the FBI. Secondly, that Australian can't even speak English. But when he got busted, you were afraid he might tell us where he got the fly swatter and who killed the bug. So, you killed him! When we find a translator, he'll confess to everything. You know how hard it is trying to find an Australian translator? Make it back, man. You let the donuts still sit here. Yeah, I know. I had some important business here. I was busy booking that FBI agent. Apparently, uh, Sammy placed him at the murder scene. Look, we've been here a long time. I know you did it. Just confess. We got some forms for you to find. First one is just standard for your haircut. You got a free haircut. I'll let you sign for that. Haircut all right. Even though everything's so, so tough in police work, it always makes me hungry for donuts. You know, in another life, I think I would have been a donut maker. I you, love donuts. You know, that's funny. Because I think in another life, I'd have been a cop. I love cops. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, so, Chief, tell me, uh, anything new on that case going on? Well, I just got done booking uh, Agent C, that one agent, and, uh, Apparently, he was a murderer of Mel Sanchez, according to uh, Sammy, who saw him at the murder scene. What? You're telling me that Weed, or I mean Seed, I mean, what's this dude's name again? The agent? He's the one that killed him? Something like that, yeah. Are you sure? Wait a minute. Oh, so, wait. oh wait, no, I got another form for you to sign, and this one is Nonesville PD versus LA Dodgers. Well, then what the hell was Sammy doing there? I mean, if he's there the whole time, how come, uh, how come he didn't try to stop the agent? He said he wasn't really there on time, that he didn't quite make it in time to stop him. Oh, really? <laughs> so you think Sammy might have done it, huh? Yeah, yeah, it just makes more sense because the agent, I don't see him getting involved. He, he really had nothing to do with it. Sign here for your free tickets, Spice Girls on Ice. Every suspect gets free tickets. But I'm not a suspect. But it's Spice Girls on Ice. All right. Kind of strange, don't you think, Chief? Uh, I think I better get back there and check on that interrogation. I think you better. All right. Well, I'll take this donut with me. Just send the bill to the police department. No problem. All right. See you later. I've been here so long, I can't even see straight. You know what I really wanted to see was that Fifi the... Vietnamese midget. Oh, that's a form 1040A9-7. All right. It's been so long since I've seen a good match of midget wrestling. What's it say? Drop the pins, punk. Hey, Sammy. Hungry? Hey, uh, no thanks, Chief. I gotta process these papers. What papers? I just got the Fed to confess. Really? He signed it right here. It's all on paper. Well, I guess that wraps it up then. I gotta get going, Chief. See you. I know you're tired, but you're just gonna have to confess, and you're gonna have to do it too. Well, now that we got this all wrapped up, how about some fresh donuts? Sounds good. Wrap it up. Donuts. Oh, uh, why don't you just put them back in the cell right. first, though? Oh, come on. Let's go. What? Let's go. What? 
What? That's great, the case is all wrapped up now. Huh? Not quite. Especially with Gary and Fed, whatever his name is, <coughs> going to all the hot gigs in town. Why is it that inmates get to see Fifi and cops have to work? That Fifi gig was last week. And we would never let inmates go see Midget Wrestling. It's only for police. And Sammy came in and had him sign some forms. To get him to confess. Huh? Don't you see? Sammy must have tricked him into signing his own confession. But why? Seems that he's had some suspicious history. He might be trying to cover it all up. back here. This is Sammy. I'm downtown. It's been a murder. You won't believe who it was. To cover up what? Cover up the fact that Sammy's wife died several years ago from a spider bite. But there was nothing reported from any, any cemetery, so I think he buried her at, at his house. So we're gonna have to go and investigate. Alright. Let's hope he's still there for questioning. Let's hope so.
get it. Get it. Let's go. Let me out, let me out. Don't I get a lawyer? Let me out. I didn't do nothing. You got nothing on me. What am I doing here? Don't I get any food? Come on, I'm hungry. Hello? Hello? Is anybody out there? Can I get some food? Hello? Hello? Is anybody out there? I'm from Australia. How could I do this crime? I'm starving by crikey. Can't I get some food? Is anybody out there?